Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and happy holidays. Today's video I want to share with you um, some of the purchases that I've made this year that are hits or misses and then I have some maybes as well. And most of the ones that I am sharing with you today are bags. I will show you all of these items and we'll also talk a little bit about them. The reason why they are hits or misses or maybe. Be sure to stay until the end because I do have some surprises for you guys. The very first bag item that is on my hit list is this Loewe Anagram Basket Bag. This one, oh my gosh, love it. I have mentioned this in my previous videos. I've used this one a lot. I think ever since I got it, so I got it in June of this year and you know right in time for summer so I have been using it a ton during the summer I took it on my last trip to Aruba with me it is an amazing bag for the summer for vacation for the beach so this is the Loewe anagram basket bag in the size medium and it comes with the tan leather shoulder strap and the handle and the anagram in the same material the inside is just really one big compartment um, I currently have the organizer but without the organizer this is what it looks like inside it is quite a big bag this bag even though in the woven straw material, it's still very durable. When I used this bag on my last trip to Aruba, I literally use it every single day and it got rained on a little bit too. It wasn't like a heavy rain or anything, but nothing was wrong with it. It was perfectly fine. I think it's just very cute, perfect for the summer. I really enjoyed this bag. This is one of my favorites this year. The next bag that is on my hit list is this Chanel 19 in the caramel color. It's so obvious that I was gonna love this bag because I own another one already, the gray one right there. So this is my second Chanel 19. So I already knew that I'm gonna love this bag. But this one, the reason why that is special is because of this caramel color. I have to be a little bit more careful because of the lambskin. But I didn't really baby it all that much. I think I was very casual with this bag. And so far, it's in perfect condition. There is no scratch on it whatsoever. So as you can see here, the bag is in perfect condition. And this bag fits a lot. It comes with the strap and it is mixed metal. So it has all the gold, the palladium, and then the inside. I currently have an organizer. So I got one organizer that I'm using for both of my Chanel 19. So this is the organizer. But the inside, it's in perfect condition. Again, I use organizer for all of my bags. And if I do carry my gray one, then I do take out the organizer and put it in that one. So yeah, this one is beautiful. The leather is so luxurious and it's just so soft and smooth. It's very buttery. The color is so rich. I just really, really love this color. I think it's a perfect color for the fall or the winter. And I'm just so happy that I was able to get this color to add to my collection. And the next bag is this beautiful, beautiful Loewe Goya bag in this emerald green color. I'm actually very surprised on how much I love this bag. It can be double strapped so you can wear it on the shoulder like that or you can pull the strap out and wear it as a long shoulder bag or a crossbody. And this size is perfect as a crossbody bag. Yeah. Some of you have asked me to do a review on this bag. So I figure I'm gonna do a quick review on this. It is a very structured bag. And the leather is smooth calfskin. So you can see some scratches. Let me see if it picks up on the camera. But right here, there is a little bit of a scratch. And in the back here, you can see some minor like hairline scratches. Again, I am being careful with most of my bags, but I didn't really baby any of my bags. But I do notice some minor scratches on here. So I think I have to be super careful going forward just to make sure that I don't add any more scratches to it. 
because again, it is a very soft, smooth calf skin, so it can be easily scratched. To my surprise, I have used this one a lot. I really love it. It's so easy to pair with a lot of my outfits. The only thing that I have to mention is that the inside is really, really small. And to date, I haven't been able to find an organizer for this bag. If any of you guys know where to get an organizer for this bag, please let me know in the comment. I would really appreciate it. But yes, the inside is really small. So if you are the type that carry a lot of stuff with you on a daily basis, this is probably not a bag for you. But if you don't carry a lot like me, this bag is perfect. It fits my card holder in here, uh, fits my key fob, a lipstick, and maybe a little travel size perfume bottle or like a sanitizer. And that's about it. So it does fit my phone, but it takes up a lot of the space. And I like that the bag has the magnetic closure right here. So it just snaps close. So I think that's very convenient. It's very structured. So it's going to hold the shape really well. And beautiful color. So the basket bag and the Goya bag, these two are my first Loewe bags. And I have already loved both of them so much this year. So yeah, Loewe is a new brand in my collection. I think they are great, great bags. Really good quality, very well made. And the price point is also very reasonable as well. So yeah, I love it. It's my go-to if I want a small bag with a pop of color that still can go with most of my outfits. This bag is perfect for it. Also, the back here has a back slip pocket. So, you know, I love that, of course. The strap is adjustable. So if you are taller, you can certainly extend the strap or you can shorten the strap as well. Right here, you can see that it's made in Spain. It's a very beautiful bag. I am so glad that I picked this up when I was in Spain back in June because I did save a little bit of money as well. So that's a plus. This bag and the basket bag, I think it had made me want to get more Loewe bags. That's how much I love Loewe now. Gorgeous bag, very underrated. I don't think I have seen anyone talk about this bag all that much before. Yeah, it's just so underrated. I like the fact that it doesn't have any logo. It's very classy, very ladylike, but still can be casual. And they have a lot of colors to choose from. I am just very happy that I picked this color because I don't have this color in my collection and it just makes me very happy every time I look at it. Stunning, stunning. So there is one more bag that is on my hit list. It's this Dior Bobby bag. Some of you have asked me to do a review on this bag. So here it is. This is the Dior Bobby bag in the size medium in a color called Latte. So it's like an off-white color. If you have watched my previous videos, um, you know that I was struggling to find a white bag. And uh, honestly, this is the perfect white bag for me. It's super, super adorable. I think similar to the Loewe one, I have used this one a lot. The only thing that I have to be mindful of is it is white, so obviously I'm not gonna wear it with any dark colors, but other than that, it goes with any of my outfit. Here is the strap, and at this length, I can wear it like a crossbody, so. Or I can shorten the strap here and make it a little bit shorter so I can wear it on the shoulder. This is the medium size. They do have the small size and the large size. I think the small one is really cute as well, but it doesn't fit as much as this one. And I think the large is a little too big for me. I think this size is perfect because it's just so cute and so adorable. It fits my body frame perfectly and it can fit enough. So in here, I do have an organizer that was a little bit hard to put on because of the structure of this bag where it has a two end right here. So 
I'm not gonna mess with taking the organizer out. Once it's in, it stays in there. On the inside, it's a suede material, and on the outside, it's a smooth calfskin. So very similar to the Loewe one. One of the things that I like about this white bag is that the white is not a shiny white. It's more like a matte finish. You don't see scratches on here whatsoever. And being that it's white, I was very worried that it's going to get color transfer. I'll get it dirty, but I try to enjoy my bag rather than worry about the bag. A few days ago, I did notice some marks. It might be my lipstick or something on here. It was a little bit pink. So I was a little bit nervous about that, but I used some leather cleaner and it, it came right off. So that was good. And then at the bottom, I think I had some small like minor marks down here, which it also came off when I cleaned it. The one thing that I noticed on the side right here, because the buckle is metal, when you use the back, it's going to rub against the leather. So it's going to leave marks like this. I'm not sure if you can see like a black mark right here because of the metal rubbing against the leather. If you do pay attention to, you know, bags that have metal like this, it will probably happen to any bag. Like you cannot avoid it. But because it is a white bag, so it shows a little bit more. However, what I did is I tried to clean it and it came off. So this side, I did not clean it just so that I can show it to you guys. But on this side, it had a mark right here similar to the other side. But I cleaned it and it looks perfect right now. I was very relieved uh, when I was able to get all of the marks off because that was... The one thing that I worry about a white bag is that it's going to get dirty, it's going to get color transfer. So, so far, there is no color transfer on this bag. Just little marks here and there that can easily come off when I cleaned it with um, leather cleaner. In the back, it does have the 30 Montaigne emboss right here. And it also has a slip pocket. The front just have this buckle. It's a magnetic closure right here. And then the buckle is just really for the look. And then it has the CD logo. And I think I show you guys the inside, but the inside, it has really small compartment. It does fit my phone like that. So again, my phone is already a really big phone. So if it does fit my phone, it should fit most of the phones. And I have the organizer, like I highly recommend an organizer for this bag, especially in this color. So I didn't start using this bag until I got the organizer. That's just because I did not want to ruin the inside being that it's white. This bag is very structured already. The organizer just helps with keeping the inside clean and then also to organize all of the things that I put in there. I think it fits enough of my daily essential. That's why I don't go for big bags all that much anymore because I don't carry a lot of stuff with me on a daily basis. So I think something like this is perfect because it fits just enough of my essential. So typically it would just be a card holder, lipstick, key fob, sanitizer, and that's really about it. Yeah, I don't carry a whole lot with me. But I think this size is just so adorable and I love the shape of this bag. These two are definitely, definitely my favorites for this year. They're pretty close. They're neck to neck, but I think I like this one a little bit more just because of how adorable it is. And again, so far, it's been doing really good. There is no discoloration whatsoever. It's in perfect condition. The color remains exactly the same from the day I got it. This one, it has some scratches and it shows on the back. If I look closely, I can see the scratches. This one, there is no scratches whatsoever. I have to give it to this bag. This is my top hit bag for this year. Okay, so next, I have some of the items that I consider misses. And I can almost say that I regret it just a little bit. I'll show you guys what they are and then I'll, I'll tell you guys why as well. So I'm very proud of myself this year because I think out of all the bags that I got this year, I'm very happy with them. That's why I try not to do any impulse purchases, especially when it comes to handbags or handbags that cost a lot of money. I try to be mindful about it just so that I don't regret it later. But I do have some items that I wish I have done better. The first one is this 
Louis Vuitton monogram makeup pouch. There's nothing wrong with this pouch. It's brand spanking new. I was actually excited when I got this and it's brand new. I have never used it once and I don't know why. So it has one slip and then it's just one big compartment and the inside is leather. This is canvas with the gold hardware. When I got this, I think I purposely get in this for like a catch-all or to put my makeup in here when I travel. But then when it comes to traveling, I wouldn't use this to put my makeup in there and then get it dirty because then I feel bad about it. When I travel, I use something like this, you know, it's the Dior cosmetic pouch. So I think for me to use this as a makeup pouch, it would be such a waste. So then I have never used it. So I thought, okay, maybe I can use it as a clutch. I have a lot of clutches that are not being used currently because I don't really go out that much anymore. For special events like wedding, cocktail party, it's when I carry a clutch. So I haven't gone to any of those events lately. So yeah, this is just not being used. And even if I go to special events, if I go to a wedding, I don't think I would carry this. Because again, I have so many clutches that I haven't been able to use. So if I do go to a special event, I probably would use some of my clutches that are meant for, you know, evening. So yeah, this bag doesn't really get any use at all. It's kind of just sitting here at the moment. So I am actually thinking of letting this one go because I really have no need for it right now. And it is brand new. I got a little disappointed that I bought this and have not been able to use this. I'm just glad that it wasn't a big purchase so that it's just not a lot of money sitting on the shelf doing nothing. The next item is actually a pair of sandals. <laughs> and these are the Hermes Oran sandal. So it's not that I don't like these sandals. I love these sandals because I do have more than one pair. This is my favorite one right here. The reason why that this one was not my favorite purchase this year was because the size. This is a size 37. So it is my size and it's very comfortable. It fits really well. I love it. I use it a ton. So you can tell at the bottom here. <laughs> so earlier this year, I added the white. So what I did wrong was I did not try it on because I was in a rush that day. So I told my SA just to get me the white one in the same size as this one. So a size 37 because I already have this one. So I figure the size are going to be the same, right? Because they're the exact same sandal, just different color. I went home. I tried it on. It's a little tight, but I'm thinking it's going to stretch, right? Because I had no doubt that it was going to fit. So I wore it out wears after wears. It's still a little bit tight on me. It still fits, but it's just not as comfortable as the brown one. So the lesson learned here for me is that even though they're the exact same style, the exact same pair of sandal, but because different colors, the sizing can be a little bit off. So it's always better to try them on in the store before you make the purchase. Just to be sure, um, I should have tried it on. And I think if I were to try it on, I would have picked up a size 37 and a half, maybe. It's not the sandals fault, it's my fault for not trying it on. So I do have one item. I wouldn't say that it's a miss, but it's one of those that I think is a maybe. And it's this Prada 2000 re-edition and the crystal embellished. Done in. I think I wore it on my birthday once and that was it. A crystal embellished bag is typically not me. But I think it's such a big statement and I really like it when I bought it. I still like it. I mean, I don't regret getting it. I just wish I had more use for it. I think that if I got the plain version, just the re-edition 2000 with the nylon material, I think that I would have gotten more use out of it because it is more casual. I just wish I have more opportunity to use this bag. I hope I will because it's so beautiful. So yeah, this one is like a maybe for me. Like I don't regret it, but compared to all the ones that I bought this year, this one doesn't get as much love as all the other ones. I think I'm gonna have to try to find more opportunities to use this, or maybe I just have to start using it. So it does have the Prada right here. And the shoulder strap is like a um, fabric material. So I have an insert for it. 
right here. It doesn't have any compartment at all. So that's why I got this organizer that comes with a zipper. I, again, did not use this bag until I got the organizer. I think I'm gonna have to try to use this bag more often because, again, it is beautiful such a statement piece and there is no reason why that it's only gonna sit on the shelf. I don't have any bags that I say I regret buying this year. So again, I'm very proud of myself. But yeah, I think that's everything that I wanna share with you guys in today's video. But now it's a surprise that I have for you guys. So I am going to do another giveaway of this Chanel holiday gift set. So I did one last month. I was able to get a couple sets and I have given them to friends and family. And I got one set for myself. I gave one set away to you guys. And congratulations to Brittany as the winner of the last giveaway. So after giving everything away and kept one set for myself, I have one left. And I was thinking of returning them. But then I thought of you guys. I'd rather give this set to you guys than to return it because I know how hard it is to get this. So yeah, I wanted to do another giveaway and give this set to you guys. This is the Go To Extreme Mascara set. In here, it has one mascara and one mascara primer. And it comes in a red pouch. I'll put a picture up here so that you can see what it is. This is for you guys. Again, I just love you guys so much and I'm so thankful for you guys and thank you for, for all your love and all your support. You guys mean a lot to me. So this is just a way of me saying thank you. Similar to the last giveaway, I will also give you guys a set of the D-Link so that in case if you want to turn the pouch into like a crossbody, you can do that with these links. So yeah, I'll include one set of the D-Link in here for the winner. I did a short video to show you how to turn the pouch into a crossbody bag. So I try to put a link up here too in case if you guys want to check that out. The rules for the giveaway is really simple. It's similar to the last one. You just have to subscribe to my channel like this video and comment below the word enter so that I know that you want to enter. And fourth is hop over to my Instagram and follow me on Instagram and then like the Instagram post. Also comment in the Instagram post the word enter and then your contact information so that I know how to reach out to you guys. Yeah, so it's really simple. Just be sure to follow the rules because I do check them. I will let this giveaway run until January 15 of 2023 at midnight and then I will pick a winner and then same thing I will reach out to the winner once the winner respond back to me then I will announce the winner on my Instagram story so be sure to enter I'm super excited that I am able to give another one back to you guys. These are amazing. I'm very excited for one of you to have it. I will put all the information for the giveaway down in the description box. So be sure to check that out and uh, good luck. This is just a small token of my appreciation because I really, really do appreciate you guys. And with that being said, that will conclude today's video. I really, really hope that you enjoy it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye for now.